What's up, beautiful people? Welcome to Pretty Girl Loves Trap Content. This is my recap slash review of Snowfall Season 5, Episode 5, Iliad, okay? <sighs> Y'all, you know, Snowfall is my favorite show, but yeah, there was a lot of weird little things going on, so your girl is a little, you know, conflicted as to how she really felt. I mean, it gave us a lot of action, a lot of, you know, a lot of things was going on, but there was a lot of few, like, hmm, moments, like, <laughs> what's going on over here, all right? So, you guys, let's get into it, okay? So, we start off, oh, boy, so we at the office, okay, and your girl, Sneaky V, aka Bernie, she's on the phone discussing the whole situation with the downtown building that Franklin is investing all of his time and money in, and he's coming in and you know she's getting him abreast of all that what's going on and what they need and pretty much what's needed is that sh money okay so he was like okay set it up we want to start transferring the money from the offshore accounts to you know the u.s accounts and whatnot and something tells me something is going to go terribly wrong about this deal i mean this whole season has been about this deal and i'm a little worried i'm a little concerned like Things don't really happen as planned in the drug game, okay? So, we'll see. So, you know, your girl, Veronique, she was like, well, that's not all that needs to be transferred. So, we are, you know, entering the situation with Louis and Unc, okay? So, they are pretty much telling Louis and Unc, like, hey, we kind of need your money for this building. What's up about the transfer, Okay. And so your girl on Louis was like, we did not give you an answer. We did not fully agree to this. Of course, Franklin, he is a little frustrated. And I understand him wanting to make sure the family is good and have a way out um, in terms of, you know, legit life. But he kind of has to understand, like, everybody does not want to go the same path as he. Now, he's going a great path in terms of real estate. Um, so he has a great idea, but... And not everybody wants to, you know, share your dreams. And that's what Aunt Louis is telling him. So Franklin is pissed. And he offers them a discount. He was like, hey, yeah, instead of the 10 mil, how about just five, okay? And we just need 10%, okay, to, you know, start this whole process. And, of course, Aunt Louis was like, mm, I don't know. And Jerome, he was feeling the same way. I mean, Franklin is asking, well, he was initially asking for 10 million. And that was pretty much all Louis and Jerome had. So when Franklin gave him the option just five million, I felt a little better because you know I'm one not to put all the eggs in one basket, just like Aunt Louie, but she still declined, okay? And Franklin, he left, he's pissed, he doesn't understand why she does not want to agree to this. But yeah, sometimes you can lead a horse to water. But yeah, I don't know. Like it's a genius, you know, idea, but I do feel like there's going to be some blowback, something that prevents this deal from happening, okay? And so Franklin is upset because he's like, dang, we have to put all of our money now, well, more of our money into this deal. And I'm like, Franklin, what percentage of your full earnings are going towards this building, okay? I just hope it's no more than 30%, <laughs> maybe even 50 I mean, let's gamble a little, but bruh, how much you putting up in this building? I mean, I understand. It's a lifetime, it's generational wealth, I get it, but let us just know, run me the numbers, okay? So we see his mama, okay? Sissy over there meeting with Raul or Ruben, I think it's Ruben, child. Your boy over there telling her like, hey, we're gonna need you to stick this nice little pen, this little, you know, recording device into Franklin's office. And she was like, bro, I didn't agree to that, like, when them snitching on my son come into play and you know she was explaining like hey i understand people like you in whatever organization you come from they just don't want the one thing they just don't want me to get what i want they're gonna need something too but she was like my son is not a part of the deal bro so i don't know about this and ruben he really didn't have a good comeback <laughs> honestly your boy was kind of stuck and was like okay well we can slow this down a little bit. I'm like, yeah, slow it down. I mean, no, not yield. We need to stop, okay? Sissy, what are you doing, home girl? Like, I get it. You want revenge for your man. But I didn't want all that. <laughs> I 
me just stop, y'all. I know that's her boo and that's her hubby, I guess. All right. But yeah, Sissy, I feel like she's going to do something. We just don't know what. But yeah, your girl is not going to stop. And I I don't know how I feel about it, okay? Well, I do know how I feel about it. Sissy, stop. We are a drug organization. Come on. Like, this ain't going to work. Auntie who? So we see y'all, Lord, Franklin, and Teddy, okay? They're doing their little routine drop. But we see a new face, okay? So apparently your boy Peaches, okay? He called out sick. He, you know, put some sick time, some PTO, something up in there because we got some new dude that's supposed to be Franklin Security. And then we see Gustavo and Teddy, all right? So they're, you know, about to do the exchange or what have you. And in the midst of the exchange, we see a little van come up and they was busting shots, y'all. They was shooting up the place. They had a little brown and black bandanas. And, you know, they were African-American. So it looked like, you know, it was a little, you know, local gang. But yeah, y'all, gunfire was a blazing okay. And your boy Teddy ended up getting shot. And yeah, he ends up leaving your boy Gustavo. I'm like, oh, Freddie, you ain't no ride or die. And see, Gustavo always been a real one when it comes to your boy Teddy. So I hope, I hope this show your boy Gustavo that Teddy ain't for you, okay? Learn that ASAP pronto, Gustavo, okay? Because we do not need you to be in harm's way, okay? And so Franklin's boy goes down, okay? The, the security. I'm like, dang, bruh. This was the shortest employment in history. Like, frankly, I'm going to need you to beef up your security. Your girl, Vernie, even though I don't like her, she did make a good point about needing some more security. So, yeah, at least two people, bro. At least two people. And bare minimum, two guns for yourself, okay? So, your boy, frankly, ended up telling Gustavo, like, come on, let's go, you know, in the car. And on the way in the car, Gustavo ends up getting shot. And so, you know, Franklin, he ends up, you know, smashing into the van, causing, you know, a radiator or something to go out in his old school. And so they end up, you know, going down the street and parking and pretty much having to walk the rest of the way to find, you know, somebody to pick them up. Mind you, they have $3 million in cash on them, okay? There's two bags full. So it's about 1.5 million in each bag, okay? And so we see graffiti all over the place. So Gustavo noticed, like, hey, we are in the gang territory. Yeah, this may not be good, bro. <sighs> mm, mm, mm. Lord. <laughs> so we cut to Auntie, Uncle, and Veronique, as well as Sissy, okay? Because Franklin... To me, to, yes, when it comes to this building, okay? And your girl, Veronique, was like, hey, maybe Sissy can talk some sense into your auntie and uncle. So they are having a good little classy lunch. And your girl, Sissy, she's doing one of her little monologues, you know, sounding all prolific and whatnot. And so Aunt Louis is really still not trying to hear. But in the midst of this conversation, Louis and Franklin both, sorry, Louis and Uncle Jerome, they both get a 911 text. Well, not text, Lord. It ain't that decade. <laughs> They get a page, a 911 page, okay? And so Uncle Jerome, he ends up going to the payphone, okay? But right before that, we see that Teddy and, um, I'm sorry, we see Franklin and Gustavo, they in this little Mexican, you know, area and um, a little, you know, strip mall, what have you. And they use the payphone. So they end up pretty much communicating with, uh, Louis and Jerome, because they need somebody to pick them up, okay? And I'm like, Lord, we have so many advantages now, because we could have just called an Uber on our cell phones, a cab, somebody, but ooh, the 80s was ghetto, y'all. <laughs> How did we survive? I don't know. So, in the midst of all this, your boy Teddy, he is driving, he's shot, he's about to be phasing in and out, your boy is not looking good for him, so he pulls over, he takes some of the coke um, out and he puts it on his wound because that kind of numbs the pain. And he, you know, added a little booger sugar in his nose. I'm like, okay, Teddy, I get it, but please don't make this a habit, bro. We cannot have you back on that stuff, okay? No. Coke is a gateway drug to the crack, all right? 
maybe not, but y'all, you never know, okay? So, y'all, we see some gangbangers approach Teddy and Franklin, okay? Because Franklin is sticking out like a sore thumb, you know? L.A., in certain places, in certain cities, is very segregated. So, if you're in a different area that's not, you know, prevalent with your race, yeah, it looked real suspect. So, these little young dudes come up. They, you know, pretty much try to punk, you know, Franklin and Gustavo. Franklin had a gun, but no bullets. Gustavo didn't have no gun. Lord, this is looking bad. But long story short, they end up running, and the boys ended up following them. And Franklin and Gustavo ended up hiding out in some, you know, little crawl space and some little building or what have you, okay? So they waiting it out right there. Meanwhile, while, uh, Teddy, sorry, while Uncle Jerome was, uh, he actually got in contact with your boy, uh, Franklin before he ran off, he actually, Lord, he actually heard Jerome call Louie name because he noticed some dudes was creeping up. So there's a drive-by happening at the lunch. And so they're busting back Louie. She flips over a table. And yeah, Veronique over there crawling, you know, by a little tree like she a squirrel or what have you. Sissy ducking, everybody ducking. It's a whole bad scene, y'all. And people are dead, okay? They done killed like all the employees in this little restaurant. It is so sad, y'all. And I'm like, bruh. Who are these people? Who sent these people? Who sent these people? Is it the cartel? Do Veronique have something to do with it? Like, what's going on? You guys drop down in the comments and let me know what you think. And please, if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. The, the numbers show, half of y'all that watch my videos ain't subscribed, okay? That is an issue. You don't like your girl? Come on, support me, please, all right? And yeah, please like this video as well. So y'all, Gustavo had the you know, great idea, like, okay, Franklin, I think the coast is clear, but yeah, we may need to just find a, a house nearby, break into it, use their phone, and call for help, okay? So they decide to leave the money in that little crawl space, and the camera did an extra little pan to those bags, so I'm like, hmm, what's going to happen? I got a feeling that Franklin ain't going to get that three million back, y'all. What y'all think? So back at the restaurant, okay, we're dealing with the aftermath, and yeah, it was a couple of things that I just didn't agree with. So as soon as, you know, the gunshots ended and the, you know, people, you know, leave that was doing a little drive-by, what have you, you know, once everybody realized it was okay, we see Aunt Louie, Uncle Jerome, Sissy, and Veronique, you know, they're like, Hurrying off from the scene, of course. They look, they're sticking out. Okay, your boy Jerome got on a, a nice little Versace fit. Louis all gussied up. Like, they looking like, you know, the hood stars that they are, okay? And so the cops realized, like, hmm, yeah, y'all look suspect. And they really did, okay? <laughs> they kind of was, like, creeping around. Louis, you know, she was busting back, so she had some guns. Jerome had a gun, so Verity was like, okay, just put the little guns in my purse. I got you. My like, girl... Now, she is a lawyer, so there's a way if she had the guns on her, she may have been able to finesse the situation. But, yeah, I don't trust her as far as I could throw her, okay? And I can't throw very well, all right? <laughs> so, the guy, you know, the cops, they have Jerome, of course, black man. They have him all hemmed up. They have the women sitting down on the curb. So, I guess one by one, they were trying to see what each one was talking about. So, they proceeded to ask your girl, Veronique, to stand up. And she was like... I don't know, because, you know, she got these guns, honey. We can't get caught. And so she puts on, you know, puts on a, a performance of a lifetime. And, you know, Sissy was like, she's pregnant. She's distressed. You know, and your girl, Louie, came with a clutch. She was like, hey, I'm a CI for Buck, Buckley, whatever the hell his name is. I don't like him, but I'm a CI for him, okay? And, yeah, can you please call him? Because he said if I get in any trouble to call him. So Buckley shows up pretty much get some clear from the situation, but Jerome ain't feeling him, okay? He's like, I'm tired of you disrespecting my wife when I gave you all the coke and all the, the female pleasure that we had to offer at our clubs, okay? So, yeah, I'm gonna need you to back, back, okay? Back up and, yeah, leave us alone, all right? And I'm like, Jerome, like, this dude low-key could just arrest you right now. I mean, this is not the time of the place to curse him out. This is not your territory. I'm gonna need you to calm down. 
you know how Jerome is. He all passionate and whatnot. So, Auntie Hill. So, y'all, I don't think I talked about Leon, okay? So, Leon, he's on his revolutionary, you know, ish or whatever. You know, his black power comes to the people. I'm like, yes, Leon, yes. So, him and his boys go in me out because, you know, he didn't put in an order, okay? He was on backboard. He went up rocket launchers, all the works, okay? So, him and Avi and the crew, Avi have his people. Leon has his people. They're, you know, having this, like, really illegal transaction out in the open on the street and i'm like what what are we doing here i mean yeah it was a little warehouse but couldn't y'all go inside like make it make sense so in the midst of you know the transaction uh leon was like um can i you know cancel my order about the uh rocket launchers i'm just gonna need some pistols and guns okay and uh your boy avi was like uh -uh, i don't pay for these like no refund okay i want my money all right and i was like i hear you avi okay i know you went through hoops to get them drugs i mean lower not the drugs the guns so in the midst of you know their interaction which i love to see i just love leon and avi mm -hmm. but yeah we see some more people guns blazing so they trying to take out leon and the gang okay and so one of the dudes had his little behind in the little car or whatever just sticking out he ended up getting shot and fall out the car i'm like how you gonna die outside the car like you was in the car but you outside the car now you dead like i know you feel dumb next time shoot while you in the car completely bro i mean well not next time because you did but yeah note to self okay and that, I guess, needs to be in a drive-by handbook or something. But anywho, so yeah, Leon is looking all annoyed because he's like, hey, one of our brothers again, like, he had to kill. He had to save his life, but that's not what he's trying to do. He's trying to kill the Pope. Oh, the other boys in blue. Not Raheem. He ain't trying to kill Raheem. So he annoyed. I'm like, Lord. What is going on? So they have a meeting at Louise, you know, club, and they're trying to figure out what the hell is going on, who is behind all this. Franklin ain't around, and so you know, Veronique and Sissy was like, "We got to do something. We got to go." And Franklin was like, "Nah, bro, we gonna find Franklin. I'm sure he's fine. I'm gonna need y'all to stay here, okay? Because people go crazy if you find out something happened to y'all. All right." So we see Teddy. Okay, Teddy. <laughs> He goes to one of his old contacts house, okay? She's some woman. She's um she was speaking Arabic. So yeah. She notices a car with bullet holes in her driveway, okay? And, you know, she's like, hmm, what's going on here? She see a trail of blood. So she ends up picking a shovel um from her yard and goes into her house because she just came from her little run or what have you. So she comes and she's like, who's dripping the blood from my house who's in my house and i'm like girl this was kind of silly to me y'all i'm just saying i ain't about to come inside my house when i ain't scrapped and with some men's with me like come on like make it make sense but anywho she sees teddy on the ground she calls him thomas so i guess that was his old code name whatever operation she was a part of and apparently she you know was frustrated because he stopped paying her so she was either a witness or somebody doing some favors. Anywho, your girl, you know, she was like, I need 250 bands to save your life, bro. How much you think your life worth? So he was like, money ain't an issue, boo-boo, so fix me up. So she realizes the, the you know, the injuries are not this serious. Um, she ends up performing surgery on your boy. But your girl got issues, okay? She has the problems, okay? She ends up pleasuring herself after performing surgery so yeah there is a mental case amongst us okay so we need to watch out okay uh her name was parissa okay so if y'all know parissa know that she's crazy all right crazy all right so you know teddy's over there recovering on her bed and what have you and um yeah she was like well let me see your keys because i need to move your vehicle because a vehicle with gunshots that don't look good in this neighborhood so i need to move it so when she get in the car she's looking for something i was like you ain't trying to move this car you trying to get you trying to get your little come up so she ends up seeing all of the drugs y'all all the drugs in the trunk and i'm like what you got playing girl she gonna hold this for ransom what you gonna be on the block what are you about to do girl because we don't trust you we know you cuckoo for cocoa puffs anyway all right y'all so back at franklin and 
and <laughs> Gustav on their adventures, okay? So they eventually find a house with no car in the driveway, no bars, open window. So they go in through the window. <sighs> Your boy Gustav will need to be a little more graceful, okay? Because he's making all of the noise coming up in this house and what have you. So they try to use the phone. But yeah, the phone ain't working. It's dead. And yeah, they notice all these like stuffed animals, like his animal kingdom up in here. So we see this little weird man come from behind and shoot them with tranquilizers, y'all. I'm like, oh my God. I am getting PTSD. Okay, I don't know what was giving me like a get out feel. Like, I don't know what was about to happen, okay? So long story short, he shoots the, them two with the tranquilizer gun. They wake up in the cage next to a tiger okay so they are under distress with the tiger king okay and before that when franklin was waking up he was kind of getting you know out of consciousness he was mouthing some words i grew up with you i loved you i'm like oh you talking to male franklin do you hear that bernie he don't want you he don't want you girl just get out our lives, please, because I ain't feeling you. We ain't feeling you. Oh, Jesus. Anywho, y'all. <laughs> I think that is pretty much all that happened um, in this episode. Sorry if I missed anything. But yeah, your girl, I'd give it like a B minus in terms of a grading scale because I really enjoyed it. It was it was very impactful, entertaining, a lot of action. I love the action, but there were a lot of moments where I was like, what is going on here? This is normally not the route of Snowfall. So it was really unexpected for me, but it's still Snowfall. I still love it, but y'all don't, do, don't, don't be pulling that no more, okay? I ain't got time for the shenanigans, all right? But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, pretty, 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 please, okay? And I will see you guys for the next episode. Toodles!